So we are going to be working with a Laravel 5 application. It's not entirely necessary because obviously you can host whatever you want on Forge and deploy whatever you want with Envoy, but it would be useful to be able to access a Laravel 5 or any kind of application on your local machine. We're going to be uh, working with this just empty Laravel 5 project. So I'm using Laravel Homestead at the moment, but of course you can use whatever you want. As long as you can push it up to a GitHub account or a Bitbucket account, then you're good to go. So more importantly, you are going to need a Forge account. So you'll need to sign up and you'll need to link your DigitalOcean account. That's another thing that you're going to need to be able to do this. Basically what Forge does is it allows you to create ready-made servers with all of the software you need and this will be on DigitalOcean. So you will need a DigitalOcean account as well if you don't already have one. Once you have signed up for Forge, you can link your account. It's very straightforward to get it set up and then you're ready to go. So the other thing that you're going to need is Envoyer. So this is basically the deployment stage of things, which is essentially going to pull our code from GitHub and it's going to place it onto our server. And this is zero downtime deployment. And we're going to be talking a little bit about what that means a bit later on. So make sure you're again signed up for Envoy. You'll need to link your GitHub account or your Bitbucket account or any other version control it supports. We're exclusive, exclusively going to be working with GitHub, um, which is the preferred option for most people. But going on to that, you will need some kind of version control so, uh, like online account. So in this case, I'm using GitHub and we're going to be creating a repository and then we're going to be deploying the code from that repository. So this at the moment is on my local machine. We're going to be pushing it up to GitHub. We're going to be creating a server and then we're going to be deploying the code onto that server using Envoyer. So that's pretty much everything you need. There's probably a couple of other things you may need along the way, but we'll make that very clear. And once you have all this ready to go, we're ready to continue and uh, get set up to host and deploy our application.